welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ryan, and my best friend, Chelsea. This is part two of our video. She is going to show us. What are you going to show us, Boo? I'm going to show you guys how to do some quick, fast, beachy waves. So, let's get into this video. All right. Well, first off, I just started out by brushing out her hair. And we're going to go section by section, really. So, it really doesn't matter how big of a section you take. So I'm just going to kind of section a piece off here, clip the rest of this up. Should I like zoom it in on what you're doing? Let me turn this way. Then they can like see how I'm like um, curling them. I will edit this stuff out. I'll put my Pandora back on for you. Thank you. Okay, so before we start curling her hair and all, we're going to spray this um, salt spray basically and that just helps like hold in the curl and uh, is a heat protectant basically so you can smell the salt in it too <laughs> and then pull the hair out and then we're going to go in and grab another section about the same size this one you can wrap the other way if you like or you can go the same way on the bottom I typically just Roll them all the same way because you don't really you can't really tell the difference. So again, holding middle of the hair strand, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's hard to wand your hair by yourself. It's still hard for me. I burn myself. It takes a while mm -hmm. to get used to. Definitely does. And for those of you just tuning in, so this is part two of our video, um, part two to a part one. So in our other video, I went ahead and did a Chelsea's full glam makeup. So you guys should definitely check it out and I will link it below. Don't I look beautiful? She looks fabulous. We just thought this would be something super fun for viewers to watch. Yes. Like Chelsea and I are just so funny when we're together. Never when we're apart though. <laughs> just when we're together. Just when we're together. Where do you want to hold that? Yep. All right, so we're done with that section. I'm gonna section off another big chunk of hair here. Doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever. Again with your salt spray. I just hope my hair doesn't stink because I'm on like day three or four hair. Oh, it's fine. Trust me, it dealt with some nasties. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back in, start in the middle of the hair, and work your way down. I leave normally about like an inch tail out, just kind of helps give that messy look. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's the nice thing about this. And once you get the hang of it, it actually really doesn't take that long. Do you think this is like a con like this is something like a lot of brides? Chelsea does a lot of bridal hair. I do. Um, so is this something like a lot of brides like to oh, see? Oh yeah, like the type of curl. Um, it just makes like a completely different look when you wand the hair, and so like a lot of brides are wanting that look nowadays. So and a lot of brides aren't wanting that like messy look. So mm -hmm. not so neat and clean anymore. So. I think it looks better messy. I do too. And let's face it, nobody is perfect, no. so like you're just lying. Yes. And it <laughs> never turns out the, the way you think it's going <laughs> to, so. Now if you have thicker hair, you'll probably have to hold it there longer just to let the heat get all the way through so that curl can really hold it in there. You can also achieve this look by using a regular curling iron and putting your hair inside the clamp. You just actually leave the hair tail out like normal. Still, It still pretty much gives you the same look. Curl will be a little different pattern, but you can get this without a wand too. Chelsea's also my hairstylist, so yeah. She needs her hair done, guys. Yeah, don't judge me. 
Don't me. freaking judge me. <laughs> Okay, now that I have two little sections, I'm gonna take some hairspray and spray just so I can ensure that curl to help stick. All right, we're gonna go in, take another big section. My hope is my hair will still look fabulous as much as it does tonight, so <laughs> that when I can go to work tomorrow, I don't have to do the action. <laughs> And honestly, I just like run my hands through. It's just, I could, you could use a comb, but that's just another thing to hold in your hand. So it makes it a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. So just better off using your fingers. We're all about the ease in these yes. videos. No big thunder. We like pissed our pants earlier because a big flash of lightning came through the room. It was so loud. And it was like shook the whole house. <laughs> we like died, you guys. I'm kind of a sissy, so we both are like anything to that. scary. Not for me. Turn a little bit. Ah. These uh, pieces towards her face, I roll all of them back. Again, leaving the tail end up. Like, I try so hard to imitate her curls whenever she does my hair, you guys, and I just can't. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And my advice is, if you're still, like, still very, like, leery of it, take the curling iron while it's cold. Um, and take some sections and just kind of practice with it so you feel more comfortable. Same with this side by her ears, rolling back. We should have drank some wine. I know. We would have been like giggling up a storm. I thought of them too. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll save that one for the next yeah. one. Yeah. That one might be rated R. <laughs> <laughs> so children under 15, 16, please don't watch. Again with spraying. And this is a Kenra 26. I love this hairspray. A super strong hold. Never fails me. Smells so I good. I use this on all my rides, so. Smells so good. A lot of people don't know this. Chelsea and I were going to do school together and then I chickened out. Yes, and then we could have been like a team. We could have been Olivia and, and we Tracy. are a team. Okay, well they're uh, like hate each other. But we love each other. Like they hate each other. But Chelsea's a big Tracy fan and I'm a big Olivia fan so it's kind of funny. Yeah. And Chelsea has hey, like... Trey. Go Trey. No. She's no. about to pop out on third kid and still looking fierce. 
Chelsea's actually like gotten a couple like Instagram. Okay, so she's recommended this lady on Instagram that a couple girls have gone to, and Tracy was one of them. Did we get she get a shout out? No, but the important thing is she took her advice. Yeah, and got her mermaid hair, and so have other three other people who have it giving me a single shout out. So, One day I'll get my mermaid hair. Yeah, and then we're not gonna <laughs> shout out you bitches. Oh my god. I'm forever the girl just trying to slide in the D. <laughs> That's what I told Ryan one day. I'm like, I'm forever the girl, like, side girl. <laughs> one of these days we will be in there. I know. She's making her own salon now, so. Oh, yeah. Good for her. Making profit of I just want to say thing. this. Even after I told her someone stole her concept, I still got nothing. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to get something. Maybe some free hair. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, but really, I was going to go get some hair. And I thought it was going to be a certain brand. This mermaid hair. That she was gonna go all the way, what, to Texas for? Uh, Colorado. Colorado. And this whole time this girl isn't telling me that she basically came up with her own line and it's gonna be her hair. She's, I'm pretty much thinking the whole time I'm going to get mermaid hair, I'm setting up the appointment, but like all her hashtags aren't making sense to me. Then finally I put two and two together. But I don't obviously want her quality of hair. I want the better stuff, so. I let the mermaid hair girl know what was going on because she had like flown out to do one of her classes and then like basically ripped off her ID. Yeah. I mean, but that's the way the world works. Nobody can be original these days. All of that, is that weird? You can smell the salt in it though, huh? I just want to lick my lips. I don't know if you guys can see like how big this section is. It doesn't have to be perfect. They don't have to be like the same exact size. The nice even better. Yeah. Or more. That should be good. Oh my god, I'm already loving this. Ugh. I'm gonna watch this video, like I said, to to like do this myself. Don't laugh, but I butched my bangs because they were too long. Oh so, gosh. yeah. I don't know. Snipping on her hair. I don't know why she lets me play with mother effing scissors. I don't know why either. Everyone gets scissor happy. <laughs> and I don't know how to cut hair. Lucas let me trim his beard. <laughs> That's never that going to happen again. He said I pulled, but it's not my fault. It feels like pubes. He, his hair, in her defense, his hair is so thick. It's like it's so like mowing a lawn. Thick. Like when I cut his hair, she cut herself. And I literally have to pick it up. Like when your lawn's too long, like with the lawn mower, you have to like lift it up. That's what you have to do with his hair because it gets so long. Because he just lets it grow out. And it's so thick. Ugh. We're jealous of his hair. We're secret. so jealous. And then my youngest daughter has his hair. And poor Ava has my my hair. I'm like, ugh. Oh my god, I can just see like the bottom half and I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We always are nonchalantly matching when we go out. We don't text and say, we always say, we always go, what are you wearing? Are we doing cash or cute? Right. Or cash cute? So we'll do it, but we won't say what we're wearing and somehow we always end up wearing the same thing or colors. Yes. Never fails. It's because we're soulmates. Just so you guys know. Mm -hmm. Your soulmate doesn't have to be a male or a female. Definitely not. It can be your best friend who is of the same sex. <laughs> it's fine. I told my husband that he didn't like it, but I'm like, it is what it is, homie. It is. He knows he's number two when it comes to my love life. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with my teasing brush to give her a little bit of volume here. 
And the easiest way to tell you guys how to tease, basically, is just section by section. I'm gonna take the crown area. I normally always start towards the front of the bump. Take probably about like an inch and a half section. And then you're gonna take your teasing breath. I have one like this. You can use this, or even just like a regular comb. Um, sometimes spraying some hairspray, like down at your roots, helps. Okay, so then we're gonna take the brush and just at the roots, just lifting probably about two inches, you're just gonna tease, brushing the hair down. And you're gonna do the same thing with the next section. Ryan used to be like the teasing queen. I know. So. Chelsea would always like Her never tease just... my hair. <laughs> She's like, just do it, just do it yourself. <laughs> and I don't ever really tease my hair anymore. No, you don't. Lucas says once I had Everly, I stopped doing it. <laughs> Standards get lower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I am a mom. Also make sure you're doing some like on the sides, especially when you bring hair back down. You just definitely need some on the sides, not, not just in the crown area. My battery did not last long for this. And then we're just gonna Take the, is it still going? Yeah, I was like, I keep like looking. <laughs> Take the section down, each section by section, just kind of go in with like the cut, like tail end if you have one of those, and just kind of pull the hair down, not trying to really mess with the tees too much. It might look scary to you, but it's gonna be okay, I promise. I think now when we go out, you should just come over or vice versa. <laughs> I'll just do your get each other. Up, yep, and you do my hair, and we'll be fine. And if you have to pick any pieces up that you feel like need to use, do that, and then just lightly brush over with your comb on the top. Just so you can't see any of that frizziness from the teasing underneath. Okay, now that I have that, going with this L'Oreal. Um, it's basically just like a serum. Oh, you can't really see it. And that's just going to help with like the frizzy ends and just make it look really shiny. Oh, you put it in after. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do this before and after, or just after, whatever you prefer. I really like it when you're straightening your hair too. It really like gives that sleekness to it. Alright, so now we're going to go in with this dry texture spray. Just kind of like pull those ends apart with your fingers. Just run through it. Kind of break those curls up. And then go in with your spray. Just This just pretty much just helps give it some texture, some body. So pretty. Mm, smells so good. I'm gonna put a little of this silkening mist again by Kenra. This stuff smells good too. Super good. Mm. And then we'll turn it 
towards the front. Sorry. Woo woo! I'm just holding this. Whoops. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm just gonna make any final touches that we need. That stuff smells really good. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go in there with our camera hairspray again. All right. See? Seriously, guys, it is beautiful. I'm not really gonna take that much time at all. No, we're talking like under 20 minutes yes. to do all of this. So quick and easy and pretty. And if you have like highlights like this balayage like Ryan, it really looks pretty. It's always good when your best friend knows how to do some good hair. Yes. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video. 